Everyone's there here. Welcome to Nope Challenge Overview. I feel like we've had a Phobia game before, but maybe it was like woven into other main gameplay. I don't think I'm particularly scared of any specific thing. Maybe like spiders when I was a teenager, cause they have too many legs for my liking. But other than that, I don't think. And it's just being human to have feelings of uncertainty. But nowadays I feel like I can and know how to challenge myself which is why i more lean into the horror stuff because it's just getting easier over time so nope challenge is a psychological phobia simulator game where the game dares you to confront the most popular phobias with varied intensity and difficulty tailored to the player, fulfill the tasks or press the escape button before it's too late. I was pleasantly surprised that this experience presents a decent basic level of VR interactions which should not be necessarily praised, but nowadays with releases it's not happening as much as it should. Nope for the most part presents three key phobias which would be clowns, heights and spiders. And the rest are kinda minor that are not like the focus but are scattered around all levels available and if you can't tell or find them then that means that particular scare is just not for you. Which is what kinda happened with me for the most part although I did go for something more intense just for the recording purposes. Visually it's not so crazy like the assets and stuff are just okay for the most part, nothing groundbreaking and it doesn't feel like it matters on what headset you played on, which I guess is good to be consistent, but then there's just like no upgrade. It's something specifically to challenge yourself, nothing really besides that. Some kind of training dummy for people to get over their fears, where with technicalities and mechanics it's sufficient enough to enjoy. Although on launch there's only 9 levels available, free for each difficulty, which seems kind of not much for the price point, but overall it gets the point across and I suppose I suppose that's what matters. Let's go challenge your fears. Excellent, welcome. I'm going to be your friendly guide. And you are one of our first brave volunteers for the Nope Challenges. Hats off to you for your courage. You can't see me do it, but I am raising a hat to you. <laughs> anyway, look around. This humble room is where it all begins. A bit stark, I know, but hey, it's all about the experience, right? Fear not. You're in control, with choices on how to tackle heart-pounding encounters. Now, let's check out some features to help you navigate the thrills or chills ahead. Let's equip the note band. Place your arm in the device. It might look intense, but it grants you powerful abilities for later. Let's get started. You swear it won't cut off my hand? It's on! See that big red note button? Your lifeline. If things get too intense, a few quick presses, and you're off to the breather space to relax and recharge. Cool, right? The nope button has multiple modes, with nope as your go-to during challenges. Not active yet, but try a click. It's wise to test before the real deal. The other cool nope features of the nope band will be shown while in the phobia challenges. The main thing we want to show you besides the note button is that amazing breather space I mentioned. <coughs> to show you the breather space's calming effects, meet Mr. Peels, who is terrified of the dark, but <coughs> is volunteering for this demonstration. The hell? Okay. <laughs> hey, Mr. Peels. Go ahead and grab him, and then head through the door that says breather access. For Mr. Peels, yeah. feel free to give him calming assurance that he will be able to relax very soon. It's interesting that we have collision going on, physics and... Like, proper VR mechanics. It's quite dark, isn't it? Mr. Peels, of course, isn't too happy about that. But the flashlight should help us press on. <laughs> <laughs> and my flashlight goes from the no button. Aha! A repair in progress. Just crouch to get past this pipe. Almost there, Mr. Peels. Ah, uh, we've been doing so well with the mechanics. Ah! Ah! 
<laughs> You're very loud. Sweet. Up that ladder is the breather space. You will want to use your holsters to store Mr. Peel so you can climb up that ladder. Look down below and you will see the blue rings. Great! You've made it to the breather space. Go ahead and put Mr. Peels over in his favorite chair so he can relax. I wouldn't say I'm a fan of those graphics. There's low resolution in the distance. Details, I mean... It's basic stuff. Challenges, this is where you will come to unwind. It's your safe spot to relax and recharge. When you explore the breather space, you can click any buttons for info. We made it pretty straightforward. Choose your phobia challenges. At As you can see, currently we have three categories you can choose from. We got spiders, clowns, and heights. They all give me the heebie jeebies, but we have to pick one. So, which one shall we start with? The tutorial was that, right? From those stuff, I'm most afraid of spiders. Depending on the scale and like in the intensity. Heights is nothing. Clouds, I guess. I don't know. I never had that kind of feeling, so... Maybe let's do this first. Second, third. Depending on the time. I don't really know. <laughs> I guess medium. Hey there. I'm glad you made it because we need your help. Our blind robot clown named Phil has gone absolutely haywire. You'll have to unlock the doors and evade Phil before you can shut him down. Pass through that door and let the madness begin. <laughs> like it's something fun. Well, it's not a locker to hide. See that locked door? It's crucial. Remember it. We will need it soon. That control panel is damaged and this route is locked down. Hey there. I'm glad you made it because we need your help. Our blind robot clown named Phil has gone absolutely haywire. You'll have to unlock the doors and evade Phil before you can shut him down. Pass through that door and let the madness begin. See that locked door? It's crucial. Remember it. We will need it soon. I guess I died because of this steam? That control panel is damaged and this route is locked down. You will need a key. Beware of that steam. It'll do more than just burn you. And look, there's Phil. Oh, it's a robot. <laughs> How do I turn this thing? Oh, it's point and click. <laughs> I 
Hi, dude. Wait, so what was my goal? Ah, to repair. I mean, I suppose this is relatively simple if you're already familiar with VR in general. Because it's just puzzles at the end of the day. Does he hear everything? I can't jump, right? One, two, I have the third. Oh, I can just easily access it. I don't think he can, like, climb here. I don't know, there's like weird discrepancies in the interactions. I don't think it was this working here. The order needs to as well. I mean, it's straightforward, so maybe I switch to something more intense. Here we are at an intense climax of the heights challenge. Timed, yes, but with a twist. March through those giant doors, straight across the catwalk, and face the wall. Feeding of what? I didn't need spider webs here. I mean, it looks like a nice parkour. Checkpoints are your lifelines. If you fall, they're your do overs. Plan your climb. That first wall is just a warm up. And remember, something's got its eyes on a moving feast. Yep, that's you. Wait a minute. <laughs> this is gonna be like a combination? Oh, ew! Meet your climbing buddy. Ah, oh, shit! You expected, huh? Hustle up that wall and stay out of reach. Screw this! <laughs> I did not sign up for stuff like that. Now I have actually motivation to climb. a pat on the back but let's not linger this beast's relentless and your break time's over hey it's huge well then i guess i don't need to play the spider challenge while climbing just try not to look down or at that cocooned unfortunate soul who tried this before you sorry mate you're alone there Hey, don't go through the terrain. Boom! Nailed the crossing.
Fantastic. But don't start celebrating yet. Time to channel that inner superhero and power on up. Whoops. Looks like our eight-legged friends got wind of your escape plan. That zipline's your next step to escape. But you've got to hustle before our furry foe beats you to the punch. This is where the adrenaline kicks in, my friend. Ready for the ride of your life? Let's fly. <laughs> I already passed it. I'm gonna get my legs hurt because it's a rather intense locomotion. I wish he would be like, you know, jump after me and stuff. Maybe he does. <laughs> wow, you made it. Great timing as well. But there's one last choice. Hit yup to brave the unknown for a bit of science, or nope to safely bow out. I'll see more. I don't think anything's happening, so I'll just nope out. But I had a checkpoint, but I don't know, nothing happened after it. I would maybe discover more the briefer space because I'm sweating. Not necessarily from being scared, but just it was an intense climbing session. I don't think I actually completed it, which is a little bit weird, but I was just following what was going on. So we have like a list of information about the phobias. Some are crazy, but I suppose you can be afraid of everything. But in terms of challenges, it's only three. Well, I guess maybe some minor ones would be scattered around, but... Well, yeah, just like here, it was a combination, so... The other spaces are blocked. I need to, like, complete the challenges first. Which I thought I did here. Maybe I'll come back. Yeah, it spawned me in a checkpoint, but I'm not repeating this. That will be all time I have for this today, and it gets the job done. I wouldn't say the graphics are overly crazy. The briefer space is definitely a bit worse, but the actual challenges, it's okay. Like, it's nothing groundbreaking. I do like there are actual VR mechanics implemented, at least the basic ones which I would expect from every game on the store, but that's not the situation that's happening. Challenges itself, I wish there would be more variety going on. Maybe it's gonna happen in the future updates, though those three might be the most intense ones available because they're very physical, so I presume statistically those are the most popular ones among the human population. <laughs> I think it's fine for what it is, I don't think I have necessarily any notes. I have yet to see other safe spaces, so ultimately it's a matter of visual department. And besides that, things are working here for the most part. Maybe the clown section was inconsistent with the sands and then the biggest spider was penetrating the terrain. But other than that, it's fairly consistent.